Hi everybody, and welcome back to our YouTube channel. We are, as always, your hosts Arne and Carlos, and today we bring you episode 15 of the Arne and Carlos uh, Quarantine Meeting Podcast. Yes. So, mm. what happened the last... Yeah, well, I overdid it yesterday. Uh, that's what happened. I spoke <laughs> too long, uh, 30 minutes, blah, 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 blah. And after that, um, I went to sleep. Yep. And I was completely worn out. So today I am going to take it a little bit easier because I am suffering from post viral syndrome. Um, <laughs> some people actually mentioned in the comment they didn't know what it was, but it's just a complication from a virus. It can be any kind of virus. It doesn't have to be corona. It could be the flu as well. You just get very exhausted and drained for energy. Anyway, today is a knitting episode, so you're going to be... I can talk more. Doing more of the business yeah. talking. Yeah. And if I say something stupid, just stop me. Ah, uh, you never say anything stupid. I do. I do sometimes. I do. But so what make... happened in the last 24 hours? The last 24 hours. So I got exhausted. And <laughs> <laughs> That's ha that happened? And, and I <laughs> slept for a while. And then I watched. Uh, we watched some TV. We're catching up on Killing Eve, uh, which is actually a really good show. Uh, Scary. We just saw... Uh, <laughs> finished season two yesterday and we saw the first episode of season three and now we can't binge watch it anymore because now the episodes are only aired once a week so episode two is tonight so we're looking forward to that great and show then, and then we are what, what else are we doing i i'm i'm working on some christmas designs yeah and i am doing jigsaw puzzle yeah like, not making the puzzle, but I'm putting, setting it or making, uh, putting, putting it together, yeah. pieces in places. And I picked a really difficult one because mm. this is like a picture of, it's like under the water. So there's a lot of fish and yeah, it's hard. Yeah, I get, you're going to help me. Yeah, I tried. I get really dizzy <laughs> when I, when I do, the, when I see the jigsaw puzzle right now. And if I start focusing too much, I end up losing my, my, um, I get dizzy and, and I lose focus after like 10, 15 minutes and I have to lie down. But this uh, morning I was lucky. Huh? I came and I took two pieces and they were both blue uh -huh. and I managed to put them together. It was really schmack, cool. Schmack, schmack. Schmack, And they got in. Uh, Very that, provocative. Yeah, but that was just pure luck. But after that, I, I've, been, uh, I've been reading. I've been just uh, relaxing and enjoying my sick leave. I'm on sick leave until May 17th, so... I'm not supposed to work or do anything, which is fine with me. <laughs> you can does, do. Does this mean you will be quiet now? Yeah. Well, you mean now? Yeah. But this is not work. Oh, oh this is. Yeah. Fun. So. Uh, and I've been in the greenhouse. Oh, what? I'm yeah. doing a lot of stuff. You see. I haven't been in the greenhouse. No, because today. you've been sleeping. Mm -hmm. So I've been uh, cleaning a little bit in the greenhouse, and I am working on what you can. You pot. The front, it was that well, you're English. repotting them, repotting the tomatoes, and as always, I managed to put too many seeds in the soil. I don't know how many <clears throat> tomato plants we have, but I gave five no, seven away yesterday yeah, to our friend Austria who was shopping for us while we were isolated. Yeah, yeah. and I'm gonna give away more. And but then I found another, found another package with seeds, oh boy, a different like, kind oh. of tomatoes. <laughs> so I don't know. I probably try if, see if they're if they're still alive. Yeah. Prob but problem is know. if you if you if you sow too much, if we have too much, then we don't eat it. Well, that's a problem. That's that's a, another problem. Mm -hmm. And if we <laughs> have too many plants, we can't have. There's no space in the greenhouse. That too. But I found those big tomatoes, like beef tomat. Oh, yeah, those are good. I don't know what... I like the little ones, is. the uh, cherry tomatoes. I found those so good. also. So I should actually put those in. So those also. Mm. There will be more tomatoes coming. That's great. I guess. <laughs> porridge gate is under uh, a break. There's no porridge gate right now. Um, maybe... Uh, I have this quark, which I like quite a lot. It's a dairy product. And I like mixing that with apples, just like slices of apples. And then I do, uh, I cut with a with a knife, I cut pistachio nuts, like ch 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 chop them. 
and then put that on top. It's really, really delicious. That's another YouTube video. That's a great YouTube cooking, video, yeah. Cooking so, video. So um, <laughs> this morning Arne brought me uh, my tea and my smoothie, and that's what I had. He's like in Downton Abbey. I, I was thinking, like, one morning I will see if I can find the Downton Abbey music on the Sonos playing system. Yeah. And then I will put on Downton Abbey and then I enter the room Yeah, but and open the curtains. Okay, so... Then you feel very posh. Yeah. <laughs> but, okay, I just have to say, um, you do need to have a few perks when you are on sick leave. I mean, I, I feel very... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for myself, and but I'm very grateful that you take such good care of me. Yes, Thank you're you. Well, you're welcome. And I got my smoothie and my tea. But tomorrow I'm thinking of doing that because I I saw in the fridge that we have a package of, of the quark. So I want to do the quark with apples and pistachio tomorrow. I don't know what that is, but well, but you have it. You've you've had it many times. Okay. It's a kesam in Norwegian. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So um, call it quark. Q U A R K, I think it's spelled. Quark? Yeah. Anyway, it's uh, so porridge gate is not on right now. Maybe we'll have porridge on on, on the weekend. We'll let you know. Um, and, uh, and 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 yeah, and, uh, beautiful weather right now. Beautiful weather. Mm -hmm. I think I, I need fresh air. Yeah, actually, we put out the furniture for yeah. the veranda, so we're ready for summer. Our deck is done, and I think <laughs> I'm gonna go get, or maybe if you can go get the cushions. For the sofa, I might actually go and lie down. And you can't carry because then you get tired again. Yeah. So. <laughs> but if if I can get the cushions on one of the sofas, I might actually put um, a blanket over me and have a sleep in the open was, air. Which yesterday is it was very warm. It was like over twenty degrees in the on the front porch mm -hmm. under the veranda in the shadow. Yeah. So if it's cold, if it's not cold, I'll just lie down. But if it's cold, I've got my throw. I've got the, um, here it is, the Astri throw that we uh, launched uh, not so long ago. I think it was on Sunday. So that's your uh, new favorite now. Yeah, it, I'm going to, you know, I can, I can just go under this yeah. and feel very comfy. So I might do that. If anybody wonders about this pattern, you can get it on our, on our uh, blog. You can purchase it there. Sorry, not our blog, our web shop. Yeah. So uh, anyway, Astri. I might use this if if the sun's not warm enough. We'll see. I think it will be warm. And then we got a box in the post. Oh yeah, very exciting. We are so happy because we got the new sock yarn, and I have to say, I think it looks really good. The one, that, the new sock yarn. I'm so happy that we designed to have obviously. a plastic bag with our our sock yarn. There's a lot of these multicolor sock yarns out now, but if you want to have ours, you have but to look for That's the, the old one. That's the old one. Have I been mixing up everything? Yes, you have. Okay. So, look, this is one of them. I I'm, think this pattern came out really nice. The series is called Gargia. Gargia is uh, so, up in the north of Norway somewhere. But if you want to have our sock yarn, you have to check that there's a picture of us and it's written mm -hmm. Arne and Carlos because a lot of yarn companies now they have this. And these are icebergs, by the way. Yeah, there's a lot of self-patterning colors of sock yarn now, but most of them are stripes. So if you want to have a pattern, you have to look for Arne. Arne and Carlos Gargia is this one. And I, this is another color. That's one of my favorites. I think they came out really nice. I'm happy, very happy. And the one with orange. Oh, look, hang on. I see that the one with orange is here. It looks like this. Yeah, but see, you have to look for the picture that way. The picture of us up in Jotunheimen, up in the mountains. Because you can see a ball of this and you buy it and you go home and you start knitting and you have stripes. Mm. And then you will be disappointed because it's not the pattern you saw. So look for our picture. Here's another one. And this one. But I think that's all. I mean, look, one. here's another, another <laughs> ball. And this one is this one. But right? I was is it? so happy. I think it is. It is, yes. I was so happy when we got this in the post because I think they came out really nice. And then they always give us this fan as well, which is fun. The fan has our face on it. <laughs> <laughs> this 
See? Uh, it's got our face on it. And it's got all the colors. But only our face is only on one of them. No, that's the front. The front. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> Duh. And, and now, you know, when we have these new colors again, we have to make new teddy bears. Hmm. Da -da -da -da. Look. So more teddy bears. And talking about teddy bears, that was the last square we made. Yeah. Before. Well, we'll get we to that. Sick. We'll get to that later in this okay. in this segment here. If that was like a nice transition from the sock yarn to mm -hmm. the teddy bear. Yeah. But. But no. <laughs> well, yeah. We can talk about we can talk about the teddy bear in the sense that um, if you hold it up. Yeah. But this is the last one we made. Yeah. Now. Bear. And now you can tell why. Yeah. Oh, you might have to tell it. Anyway, um, this is the very last <laughs> patch or block that we did. Uh, it's a teddy bear. Unfortunately, we were sick and we didn't do the podcast, so we couldn't explain um, what it was. And why? We didn't, and we didn't post it on Instagram either. I no, think. no, no. We were like anyway in off. Norway. In Norway, uh, there's a huge trend, and it's actually on Instagram. So I think that the trend is everywhere. It's about putting teddy bears in the windows, and then the kids, because they're not going to daycare now, if they go out for walks, they get to hunt teddy bears and you know see yeah, them in the or maybe they are in daycare now but they had this teddy bear hunt yeah and then they'd the, see when we made the teddy bear and then they'd square. see the teddy bears in the windows of people's houses uh like small kids and they had fun yeah. looking for teddy bears while they were not on daycare and i mean kids need to go out and release energy and I heard on the radio that was like some rules, which I, I tried to Google and see if I could find it, but I didn't find it. But the the people on the on the program, the radio program, said that there was like different things that kids had to do. Mm -hmm. So if they saw like a brown teddy bear, they had to do one thing. If there was a white one, they had to do another thing. If there was like a multicolor teddy bear, they had to do. Mm -hmm. Another thing, mm -hmm. I like. I think one one thing was like jumping backwards or something. Or I don't, yeah. yeah. So that's and, why we put the teddy bear. And it's all based on um, a book by an author called Michael Ronson, Ronson R O N S E N, and the book is called "We're Going on a Bear Hunt." Um, and it's the idea <laughs> is based on this. If you if you if you go on Instagram and you look for bear hunt, I'm sure that you'll find all the all the images of teddy bears sitting behind windows so that's oh, the yeah. that's the idea behind the patch and you know when you when you don't tell it uh, it doesn't make sense for some people maybe why we have a teddy bear but we didn't put the teddy bear in the window because no one is passing our house no we're isolated so there's no kids coming looking for teddy bears for really Okay, Ernest, so since we went from the teddy bear, <laughs> the knitted teddy bears in, in sock yard to the knitted teddy bear in the patch block, why don't you show the rat that you're knitting? Oh, I'm making a rat. That, or a mouse. Or a mouse. It's for next Christmas. It's Magnus, the garden mouse. And he is huge. huge. Da -da 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 -da. So I but have a question. It, but I didn't, I didn't have the pink. So we have to get the pink uh, fell. Uh, it's called fell. What yarn is this? Uh, <laughs> Knits and felt. Knits and felt. It. It's the shock in my yarn. The one. Oh, you the regular. For... It's a regular yarn. Yeah, the one you use for uh, felting. felting. It's called. Um, I don't remember the name now. It's knits no. and felt. Knits and felt. <laughs> oh, you should it. Google it. Uh, shall I Google it? Yeah, Google it. So, it, but it's the yarn that, that you use for felting from Schockenmeyer, and I didn't have uh, the pink because it's gonna have a pink nose and then the eyes, and I'm gonna make a tail, and I will put him in the washing machine oh. and see what happens, and then. For Christmas, I will make uh, um, wash and filt it. Wash and filt it. Wash, wash like washing, and then filts. 
F I L Z yeah. and then it I T. I say Z because that's British English. Uh, in America, it's Z. But this is the wash and filter yarn, mm -hmm. the the thickest one, because there are two different thicknesses. Mm -hmm. uh, at, at least it were. I don't think it. I think there's still two what different needle size. It's uh, eight, I think. Eight millimeters. Eight millimeter. Let's see, clover. Eight millimeters. Eight yes. millimeter. And uh, are you going to felt it in the machine? I'm going to put it in the washing machine. And then, since we've been talking so much about slow TV, especially when we do touring, I will put up a camera and I will film Magnus while he is in the machine. Oh, nice. That could be a Sunday episode. Very nice. It can be like a podcast. We could put up the camera and we can just watch Magnus going around. But you don't want to listen to the washing machine, so we can talk about other things. While we watch Magnus, mm. because Oops. you lose the needle, I lost the needle. Yeah, there we go. We do it, this. It will be fun to see how much they shrink. Mm. And then for Christmas, he will have Christmas sweaters and Christmas clothing. But like he's a Santa tall. is going to have a Santa outfit, a Norwegian Nisse, maybe, or uh, like an American Santa. Or maybe he will have a ski sweater. Oh, I look like yeah. a tourist. I like that. I like that idea best. Yeah. Give him a, a color work sweater. You don't have to be like the Coca Cola, but look no. at him. Yeah, he's huge. <laughs> <laughs> There's a mouse. Oh, oh boy. There's a rat in the house. Carlos. Yeah. Ah. yeah. Okay, that's. Um, so that's what project. you're doing. I just have to get the the pink and more gray for the tail. Oh, okay. That's what I'm doing. What are you doing? Well, not much. <laughs> not I'm, not, no. <laughs> I'm not working. Um, I sleep a lot. Um, I think I'll, I do a lot of thinking. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. And uh, I said it yesterday and I want to repeat it today. I'm so grateful that we went into this quarantine because we didn't infect anybody with the virus. Um, and we know it's hard. I mean, it was hard for us too. And doing these quarantine podcast videos, we were able to keep ourselves entertained and uh, you know we knew that we were doing something good to help a lot of people so that it felt good so i think a lot about that and about you know i'm sick but i still want to join in you know for these 30 minutes um i'm going to start reading a book uh and this book was lent to me by our a good friend of ours um and i think it's going to be very interesting to read it's from angela kelly uh, I'm going to put this so that you guys can see. It's uh, Angela Kelly and it's Angela. The, I'll read. It, I'll read it out loud. Anyway, it's, you can see. Yeah. It. Anyway, the book is by Angela Kelly. She is the Queen's dresser, Queen Elizabeth of England, and the book is called The Other Side of the Coin: uh, The Queen, the Dresser, and the Wardrobe. And it tells the story of 25 years uh, of Angela Kelly working, uh, collaborating with Queen Elizabeth. Um, in her wardrobe. And there's a lot of beautiful pictures. Lots of fun pictures. In the, and In the book. Because yeah. the, the queen was actually a model for... Well, yeah, the queen the queen uh, supported the book. She and, was mod modeling the And gun. there were t extra photographs taken. Um, I can show the ones in Scotland that are really beautiful. Uh, so the queen was on board uh, for this book and, uh, and actually did, you know, I mean, they must have an amazing, fantastic relationship huh? for, uh, you know, trust and everything, and then that, oh God, it's I'm getting... A, it's a beautiful book, I and mean, it's interesting to... Yeah. I might not find To those. read about how she works. Oh, here, 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 she on worked. the... You can see here behind, there's a behind-the-scenes photograph of the queen being photo, uh, taken a picture, wearing her, uh, her majestic robes, and being dressed by Angela Kelly. Anyway, yeah, this book is interesting for us because... Um, we used to work in the fashion industry. A lot of people in Norway know this, but most people abroad don't because we don't talk about it at all. But um, in, from, in, in a period from 2004 until 2008, Arne and I worked uh, uh, with the Crown Princess of Norway and uh, dressed her. Uh, we made bespoke garments for her. I mean, we did dress her all the time. We were not like Angela Kelly. Uh, we were not employed, we were freelance, and uh, we came in and we made um, some evening dresses for her, some suits, and uh, we were um, 
yeah, it was four very interesting years. Do we have enough to make a book like this? No, absolutely not. <laughs> we have not. We don't have enough uh, to make a book. But we did. We did. We did a lot of outfits for her. So I think that reading this book uh, will bring back some memories from the time we were at the palace. It's probably very different, but it's it's fun. Oh, there, 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 there they are. I found it. Yeah. Look at this. This is so beautiful. That way. She's like in Scotland, dressing up, just for this just woman. for the book. For the book, yeah. Cool. So I think I'm gonna I'm gonna read so it. So that's your new. Yeah, I'm gonna read it, project. and I think I'm gonna recognize maybe some stuff that we've been through as well, which, you know, like anecdotes and and stories. Uh, yeah, it was interesting doing uh, doing what we did. We did it for four years, and then we decided that it was enough. Um, uh, we left the fashion industry. Well, yeah, we did. We did in the end. Yeah, we left the fashion industry. We left the palace two years before that to do other things. Um, it is time consuming, um, but fun. I mean, fun. it was a great experience <laughs> to have. Okay, Arne. Uh, Let's talk about the squares that yeah. they made already. And we so need to get them in the right order. The, the last, the, we made three, I think, without talking about it. Three squares were made after... Uh, after I, we stopped the podcast. Yeah. So I think this was the first one. This is square number, I have it written down here. This number is square number 16. 16. We call this one the lily because of, of the French lilies. This, this one. Yeah. That looks like a French lily. Yeah. And that's the symbol of the house of Bourbon, Something. I think. <laughs> I don't know. French. <laughs> Since we're like in the royal. Thing now. Yeah. yeah, and then we had this one, which was we called it the wine. Wine. Why did you call it the wine? Uh, well, because of the color. It reminded me a little bit of the co with the color and the shapes, and uh, I don't know what it is. It's a very old, like oh, yeah. a typical knit knitted flower that's used in knitting. Yeah, I know Norway. that, but what I mean is when when it was when it was knitted because I was sick. So oh yeah. You knitted it. I just uh, look at old patterns, and then I found found this flower, and I just made a yeah. all over of it. And then I and you like to have names. Well, we have to have names. I would like. I I could call it um, a knitted flower. Yeah. <laughs> knitted flower one, a knitted flower mm. two. You know, in the end, it will be hard to find names. And then yeah. we had the teddy bear, which was number eighteen. Eighteen. So that's that's enough for two pillows or yeah. one pillow with knitted squares on both sides. Mm -hmm. And I have actually sewn together the nine first ones. Maybe Eric can put in the picture because I I made a yeah. But tomorrow we're going to show it. Oh yeah, we're going to show it tomorrow. So we don't need okay. to do pictures because I sew those nine together and then I just pinned it on a on a pillow which is forty centimeters. And 40 centimeters so when when I sew them together they're all s square mm. it's so strange to say square yeah well we'll talk well, about yeah well is that, that means square, square yeah. yeah okay but we'll talk about that tomorrow Arne when okay. we show the sewing today yeah. is just a recap of the three the three uh, patches Eric is uh, helping us again uh, he's in Oslo um, he's out of quarantine as well and he's actually working now a little bit uh, in Norway today, they opened the, the kindergarten. kindergartens. So yeah. all the kids that go to kindergarten are are now back. But they do it like they they let just a few kids in at the time. We heard so. And the, parents are not allowed. No, parents are not allowed in the kindergarten, and the people who work there they take like five kids or something yeah. at the time. They they take the kids. The, the parents, they take the kids, they drop them off, <laughs> and then they go, <laughs> and then they come back, and then they get the kids, and then they go. So it's... it's uh, yeah. Touch, no touch, touch no, and go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but Eric's kids are older, so they're still stuck at home, or at, he, he's stuck with them at home, I guess. Uh, so it's hard. A lot of people... Yeah, it's, it's hard. They say now, when this is over, they say we will have a baby boom, or... <laughs> slash and <laughs> a lot of <laughs> separations and divorces divorces yeah that's the result because you can imagine like a lot of people are living in small apartments mm. and they 
probably go nuts. I'm sure they do. So we didn't go nuts because we can go in the garden in yeah. the snow and we can go to separate rooms, but no, we're okay. We're okay. But and now we're not in quarantine, so we can go out. Although we plan on not going out unless we have to. So we're going to keep It's strange to get, go out because it, we, yeah, like we said yesterday, I felt we came from another planet when mm -hmm. we started to go out again because we haven't been out for a long time. Mm -hmm. And then should we give people a surprise? A surprise? Mm. We have a surprise for we you have guys. A surprise. <laughs> we have a new square. This is tulips. And it'll be and This square. is also based on the old pattern. And it'll be square number 19. Number 19, because as I said yesterday, I can't stop now because I thought when we started doing this that I should, I was like cleaning the whole studio. Mm -hmm. You have something there. Oh. It was like. You don't have to say that in front of the camera. <laughs> it was it wasn't what you think it is it was like um dust like was he what magnus is filled with oh okay okay this. yeah thanks anyway thanks you're welcome thanks for embarrassing me in front of the camera <laughs> well no you're not embarrassed oh stop you're embarrassing me <laughs> don't touch your face no hey we are immune now <laughs> okay <laughs> What was I? Yeah, because I, 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 when we started, I was thinking, oh, now we're going to clean the studio. It will be so clean there, and I will use all the leftover yarn, and I can hardly see nothing happen. Mm. Like, so I'm going to continue, and I'm going to make more squares. Yeah. So this is number 19. Tulips. And for those of you who. Uh, can, you, can you just hold it a little still? It's making me really dizzy. There you go. <laughs> So Very nice. If somebody wonders how many squares we end up with if we're going to do a blanket, mm -hmm. I think we said 96. Yeah. <laughs> That's you will have a problem because you want to have a put a name on every flower. Oh, I'm going to make that. Because happen. it's all about flowers and messages and. Yeah. Yeah. Flowers, flowers and, and messages, messages and, and butterflies and, and bugs. Love as well, right? So we don't have any like other things. Mm. No. So tomorrow we have a new one. Yeah, so new square. Tomorrow we will uh, <laughs> do a new square uh, for you guys, and they're all free. So you just go to arnicarlos.com and go to the blog. Um, they are actually grouped after week so you've got week one week two week three and i think this will be week four i think we're starting now we had, um, this was week four really yeah oh yeah well, because anyway. i have it on the computer and i'm organizing yeah. i put all the weeks in okay so week boxes. Four. so anyway you you'll find them You'll find them. I'll, I'm going to write. We can put. You're going to write. We can I'm put do it. Uh, this it. one and one more in week four. So we have like five. No, 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 no. We should do. Yeah, we can. No, because that's an old post. We'll make a new post. <laughs> why make it this easy? We can, we can talk about this later. Yeah. Why make Maybe, it easy when you can make yeah, it really why, difficult? Why? Right? Yeah. We'll make a new post and we'll post <laughs> them. Uh, the new, the new, uh, the new uh, blocks. Yeah. So tomorrow we're going to go, uh, or Arne is going to show you how to sew them together. Very quick. How we do it. Yeah. However, I have noticed on Facebook groups, on our Facebook group, that a lot of people couldn't wait. Mm -hmm. They have done their own uh, sewing. But, but that's fine. Yeah, there's I'm so going to grab... Some gonna, people crochet them together and there's like yeah. so many ways. I'm going to grab some screenshots of ready-made uh, cushions from, uh, from our Facebook group. And we can critique them. Uh, no, I don't want to critique. Well, I would say, oh, nice, beautiful. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, I just, or we can talk about them. The we can, colors, maybe. We can show, uh, we can show what a few people have done, and um, if we recognize the techniques they've used, we can, we can talk about that too. But I thought that was a good idea. Feature a few of the ready-made cushions as we put together our cushion. But we're gonna make a blanket now. Yeah, because. I, I made, I like, I put it on the cushion, as I said, to sh see how it looks, but I think, I think we will continue mm. and do 
squares for a while yeah. and so, see how much we if, if we end up with like half of the numbers you have to knit two of each mm. okay so let's Arna, stop this, you look yeah, tired now the sofa outside uh, <laughs> is, is calling me <laughs> and i'm just gonna cuddle up yeah. and sleep for i'm gonna put out few some hours pillow no, what you call the cushions. cushions for you and then we see you tomorrow and then i can do the final thing mm. that is um if you like our videos, put your finger, thumb, the thumb up, or if not, down, this way. And remember to put on your notifications, because then you will have a message every time there's a new video out, and you won't miss a thing. Oh, wow, you got it. And if you want to subscribe, you're welcome. <laughs> yeah, perfect. <laughs> perfect. So, so, see you tomorrow, and have fun with the uh, tulips. Bye. Bye. Maybe you can just put the tulip one in the camera. Ta -da -da -da. It's hard. I can't see with a camera. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Peekaboo. Peekaboo. <laughs>